winter's fast approaching and a lot of gardeners find themselves at home itching to get back into the garden but we can be utilizing this time a little bit better um, we can all be learning from books and things like that now in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at three of my go-to books these are books that I really enjoy there's a lot of really good information in it and I suggest you have a little look at them because they really are worth looking at and that's all coming up after this I'm Tony O'Neill and this is UK Year We Grow on this channel we deal with all things gardening poultry keeping and beekeeping if it's your first time here consider hitting the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified each time we put out new content just like this today I'd like to talk to you about three books that I really do spend a lot of time flicking through and they are really really good books now the reason I'm doing this was I was approached by Liz Zorab from By The Farm and Liz came up with the idea of bringing a few channels together in maybe a collaboration video where each of us talks about three of our books that we really like in a bid to help you guys get exposure to the books that maybe we find fascinating and informative. So it would give you an idea of something that maybe you'll want to buy and then use throughout the winter. All the links for all of the channels that are involved in this collaboration will be down in the description below. And I urge you all to go and check out what books they're using as well, because if there's enough channels here with three books each you're going to be having 20 and 30 books that you're going to be able to choose from i've also put all the links in the description below for all the books i'm about to talk to you about so without any further ado um, i have three books here which i think are really beneficial especially if you're new starting out and even if you're experienced because there's always times that we get stumped by something but my first one is this book here it's called the veg patch it's a step-by-step -step veg patch and it's written by lucy Halsall. and lucy Halsall is a fantastic writer she just happens to be the editor of grow your own magazine as well so um and this book is also part of the royal horticultural society's uh, library so um it really is a great book now when you're looking through this book it's really well laid out guys um there's sections in here and it because of the way it's broken down it gets it gets you thinking about how the whole process of gardening works what you need to do in the start me you know with the middle and the end a little bit like a story so the very first section in here is why grow your own food and it talks about this and talks about the space to grow about growing crops in small spaces and things like that and it really is really well laid out the illustrations the photographs and everything it is a superb book it talks about tools and equipment choosing the right spot for whatever crops you're growing growing in raised beds what materials to use for your raised beds things like this so it really does get down to the nitty-gritty it's one of those books that if you are a complete novice you could pick up and read and then in spring go out and apply the principles that you've learned and be able to get some fantastic crops at the end of the summer so um, it really is that good and then later on it goes through speaking about specific plants so it goes into chilies and rather than just saying oh to grow chilies you need you know sort of 20 to 25 degrees to germinate and blah 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 it doesn't do that it's a step by step so rather than focusing on specifics what it does is it says right okay here's how we germinate it here's how we sow it here's how we plant it and it is step by step by step by step right the way through to harvest that is fantastic it's golden for anybody who doesn't have that sort of information so this is a really good book guys like i said pretty much any veg that you could think about growing kohlrabi parsnips garlic shallots uh, spinach 
cut and come again lettuce and then it even talks about the perennial um, things like Jerusalem artichokes and, and what have you. It's even got a really good vegetable planner in there as well. So it's a fantastic resource. Um, this book is available on Amazon. Like I said, I'll put the link below. The second book that I use a lot is this one. It's another RHS book and uh, it's written by Pippa Greenwood and Andrew Halstead. Now, Pippa Greenwood's a fantastic lady, very, very knowledgeable again. And this one is all about pests and disease. And all too often throughout the year, we find that our leaves are yellowing or they're getting blotchy or all of a sudden a plant is dying and we don't understand why or all of a sudden just starts looking sick and as an experienced gardener though even sometimes we can get there and we can still be tripped up by something by thinking it's one thing and then it's another well again this book here it's all set out in illustrations with photographs showing you of what the leaf looks like so you can flick through your, so and, and literally match your leaves and find what the issues are i mean look how fantastic those illustrations are they are really really good and it absolutely covers everything all about soil and nutrients uh, about fungal infections the types of garden pests like slugs snails and uh, thrips and things like that it talks about the invertebrate life cycle, so how you can break that cycle. And that's a big one, folks. If you can break a cycle, then you interrupt that laying pattern and it pretty much eradicates that pest from, from your garden. You imagine if you had a slug issue and you were able to break that slug cycle twice um, over the next couple of years, it would make such a massive dent in the slug population that you wouldn't have to worry about it again. And that's the sort of information you get out of this book. It shows you all about controlling things in enclosed spaces like in greenhouses and stuff. It is a fantastic resource and I find myself in here a lot. And then, so we've gone through like half of the book and then right at the other half, the back end of the book, there's an A to Z of pests and disease species. So if you know you've got parsnips or whatever the case being, here we go, we've turned to this page here and we've got broad bean and pea rust. So it tells you then is a, a description of what to look for for it. So you know, if you've got broad beans, go to the broad bean section. Oh, that's what I've got. And it helps you in order. And this book is a little bit back to front in one way because the A to Z is at the back and then you have to go to the front to look at the pictures but it works so well it is fantastic um, and it is my go-to book for any pest and disease because it allows me to find the nitty-gritty of what I need and deal with that problem and the information I give to you guys in my videos a lot of it will come from books like this that I've learned over the years or by trial and error or experience that I've picked up from speaking to other gardeners. And I really urge you guys to get out and, and buy books like this. And again, it's another RHS book, it's fantastic. And it's on Amazon and the link is below for you guys. This is um, a BBC book and it's written by Carol Klein. Now, this one is a fantastic book because it's all about propagation. And a little while ago, I'll put a link up here, we did a video on seed saving and we also did a video, the last video in fact, on making a comfrey pipe, which was organic uh, feed plant food. Those sorts of plants can be divided. Now I showed you how to cut the root divisions on, on that. Well, this book is full of information like that. And Carol Klein, she is, just a master at dividing and propagating all sorts of plants. She, she will tell you whether to use root cuttings, leaf cuttings, whether to layer something. It is fantastic. And again, it is beautifully presented. I mean, have a look at that guys. It is absolutely beautifully presented. And it's very basic in the format that it's written. And it's written for the layman. There's no, major long terms in it is written well what we need to do with this is we need to lift this plant we need to cut this root 
make sure you put it in the right way cut it just below a leaf node and all of this sort of things and I mean even as basic as vertical cuttings I mean look at it these illustrations are fantastic they really are good guys and for those of you who've seen uh, Gardener's World you'll have seen Carol Klein she's had loads of her own series um, fantastic lady and very knowledgeable especially about propagation um, and the great thing about it is like I said these books are really down to earth and they are written for people like you and me and that's the fantastic thing about it so that's another one it's called Karen Klein's grow your own garden how to propagate all of your plants now like I said guys all the links for all three these are mine for this collaboration video that is within a group of channels and I urge you all to uh, visit the playlist for this because I will add a playlist to my channel with all of the videos in as well so you'll be able to see those videos and you will get to see what other channels are doing in way of books what they are viewing what they are reading through the winter how they are sorting out their problems and if you're new to the game these are not expensive guys um, I, I think the most expensive one is a about 20 something pounds the others are 10 or 11 pounds they're not expensive books but the information in them is worth hundreds of pounds so I really urge you to to get and have a look at those anyway guys I hope this video was of interest to you if it was don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like this video share it with your friends because I'm sure they'd be interested to know what books gardeners like myself are using and the others within the collaboration video um, and I hope you find value with the books as well that's really much it from me in this episode I'm Tony O'Neill this is UK Year We Grow and remember folks you reap what you sow I will see you in the next one bye bye